Hello, Familia. Blessed be the Lord for another beautiful day to be able to share his word and to, to hear his word together. Thank you, Father God. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, since we have this ministry, because we were shown mercy, we do not give up. Instead, we have renounced shameful secret things, not walking in deceit or distorting God's message, but commending ourselves to every person's conscience in God's sight by an open display of the truth. But if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we are not proclaiming ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves because of Jesus. For God, who said, let light shine out of the darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of God's glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Now we have this treasure in clay jars so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are pressured in every way, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who live are always given over to death because of Jesus, so that Jesus Jesus's life may also be revealed in our mortal flesh. So death works in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith in keeping with what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. That's in Psalm 116 and 10. Glory be to God. We also believe and therefore speak. We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will also will raise us also with Jesus and present us with you. Indeed, Everything is for your benefit so that grace extended through more and more people may cause thanksgiving to increase to God's glory. Therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. Familia, I can tell you, I can testify to this. My body falls apart more daily, but I'm being renewed in my heart more and more daily. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba, Father. For by our momentary light affliction, for our, rather, for our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is seen is eternal. Glory be to God, Familia. Glory be to God for this gift. Forgive me. Oh, I guess that was the end of that chapter. Forgive me. For what is seen is temporary, but what is seen is eternal. Blessed be the Lord. May we all be empowered by our God to focus on him and no longer on the things of this world that are fading away and dying. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, Familia. He's so good to us. <laughs>